muscles, so soft. You're gonna love it under your toes. Your animals are gonna absolutely love it. They won't even, my dogs would prefer to lay on the rug versus their own beds that I spent <laughs> like 75 bucks a piece for. I mean, Same here. seriously, they're always on the rugs until I yep. shoo them off and into their beds at night, um, backed by the heavy cotton and all that. I wanna also just say, these are hand carved. I wanna go back to that. I think we have videotape of how this is done because w once you know about this feature, every time you go into a big box store or any store for that matter, and you look at rugs, all of a sudden you're gonna say, wait, this other rug is like flat. These are not flat. They are completely dimensional because of that hand carving. Do we have that videotape? Will we do? Ooh, let's go take a look. Let's explain what's going on here, Dustin. Well, this is the actual hand carving process, Mary Beth, and I, I can promise you this is not me, this is not Gary, and it's not Rick who is, we've all tried our, <laughs> our hand at hand carving. The reason why it's not us is because you can see how expertly it's done. And if you yeah. take a look at those areas in the petals that are not yet carved, and yeah. then you see them after they're carved, that's really what shows you the difference that hand carving does for every design. And we do it on tiny little flowers and the tiny little leaves. And we do it on the lines that separate the interior and the exterior right. of a border. We do it on scroll work. We do it from top to bottom, left and right, all throughout our design. And if you go out to those big box stores or the department stores and you look at other hand tufted wool rugs and, and even some that are very thick and maybe made on machines, right. they may have some hand carving as well, but nobody does the amount of detail work yeah. that we do. Right. They may just outline an entire flower as opposed to all the petals and everything in between. That's the hallmark of a, of a Royal Palace rug. That's the look difference. Look at that. And you know, he, like you say, nobody does it to this extent. You imagine if that was just flat and you didn't see any carving around these purple petals, around the yellow center, around the greenery, et cetera. Even in this one, this is like two big flowers. Well, guess what? When you actually look at them, they look three dimensional because they are three-dimensional. That's what sets these rugs truly apart from everything else that's out there. And, you know, it goes back to the long-lasting quality and durability. I can't get over, I, I was trying to think of anything that's in my home that is 25 years old or older. And you know, the only things I could come up with was the wood such as the dining room table and the china cabinet and the buffet and other than that the the sofas are not that old the carpet's not that old um the appliances certainly aren't that old you know right it's like what kind of things in your home can last that kind of length of time and what have you spent for them I, you know, I don't even remember what we spent for our whole dining room set, but it was thousands of dollars. And it wasn't even anything like magnificent. It was your, you know, pretty much B flat kind of dining room set. And so, <laughs> you know, cause I mean, 25, 30 years ago when we bought it, Mark and I, you know, we had little ones. We didn't, you know, weren't making tons of money or anything. We still aren't, but anyway, um, <laughs> that's neither here nor there. The fact is, is that these are the kinds of investments, if I can say that, that you make in you know, places that you're gonna live and you get to take it with you. You know, you and I, uh, I remember we we're talking at one point, Dustin, and it was you know, during a show, and we were talking about when you go to castles or places that are you know, historic places, and what do you see on their floors? You see wool rugs. And the person on the tour will say, you know, these rugs have been here for 40, 50, 60, 100 years. And why is that? It's because it was done with wool, right? That's, yes, that's, that's exactly right. You know, Mary Beth, as you were telling us that, that story about the furniture, I started to think to myself, my wife and I have been in our home uh, 19 years, and I think the home was built in 1995. And 
You're right. The, the wood floors over there in my kitchen, we had to resurface them a number of years oh, ago. Yeah. They look pretty good. Right. The cabinetry does look outdated, but it's held up because it's wood. Yeah. This carpeting that I have under my rug, I'm ready to rip it up <laughs> personally because I'm tired <laughs> of looking at it, but we'll get to that eventually. <laughs> Yeah. But the, the couches and the chairs behind me, my wife and I are dying to go out and replace it because we have to. We have, we have uh, used them up. <laughs> and if you sit in one of these chairs, you sink in too far and you sink in too far down, yeah. too far back and too far down. But the rugs that I have rotated throughout my home, they look exactly the same as they did I, the day we put them down. Yeah. So one of them was actually 20 years, almost 20 years ago when we first moved in, and that's in our dining room. Um, I rotated the ones in my family room around every couple of months or years or so because right. of doing the QVC presentations. Um, but you're right. The, the, mm -hmm. I think the, the word that you said was investment. And yeah. we've known all along, even if our rug would be worth two to three times as much out in the big box stores or the departments, in the QVC world, this is still an investment. Yeah. Uh, a rug for a thousand dollars in your dining room. Right. That is that is no small chunk of change, and mm -hmm. that's why we want to make sure that we're offering the QVC customer a fantastic value wool pile that's going to last you 10, 20 plus years, 36 colors so that you can say, you know what, I don't want this in this room anymore, but it might work in this other room. Mm -hmm. Well, it will because there's so many colors to choose from, right. and particularly a Savonnerie design. You know, it's not, I can't say it's Royal Palace's design. The Savonnerie design mm -hmm. is 400 years old from France. Every rug manufacturer in the world has their take on a Savonnerie design. Mm -hmm. But you know, if it hasn't gone out of style in French countryside castles and mansions in 400 yeah. years, you don't have to worry about it going out of style <laughs> in in the next four or five years. In our lifetime. And that's what we do at Royal Palace. <laughs> that's Not in exactly our right. right. It is such a gorgeous design. Did you notice all of these, like this area right in here, almost like studs, you know, like you yes. would see in gold um, metal studs that were in leather or leather furniture, but yet they're not all the same color. They're actually half and half. Did you notice over here, I'm gonna show you some of the details that I think sometimes when you look at a rug, you don't even notice because our eyes just kind of go to the big things. But look at this. This is like carving that, I mean, it is hand carved, but I'm saying just the look looks like something that was carved out of wood that was just that, you know, special design. It's just incredible. And the key exactly. here is that when you get it home, you're going to roll it out. Oh, two things I want to ask you. First of all, um, if we put this on bare floor or carpet, either one. Do you recommend a rug pad, like a non-slip rug pad? Sure, definitely for the smaller rugs, and especially if they're on a slick surface like hardwood floors, or you'd spoken earlier about putting something into a master bathroom on like on tile. Yeah. Absolutely, you wanna make sure something is going to grip your your rug to the floor. It doesn't have yeah. to be permanent like adhesive, right. but something that will hold it in place. For a larger rug, it kind of depends on the wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. If it's on right. plush wall-to-wall -wall carpeting, as you step into it, you're kind of pushing it and it might cheat down the, the room a little bit. By the right. end of the week, you have to reposition it. Yeah. Flat, worn out Berber carpeting like we have, this rug's <laughs> not gonna go anywhere. Under a dining room table, <laughs> yeah. it, it's not going to go or anywhere. Or under furniture, it's not moving, yeah, you know furniture. what I mean? Um, here's right. the other thing is that if you were to buy an eight foot by 11 foot rug, um, you know, our shipping and handling is included in these prices. You would have to pay the store to deliver it to your house and that kind of thing. How do these come delivered to our house? They come up, they're, they're double packaged. So the rugs are rolled. They're packed in a, a nice, thick, clear plastic first, and then an outer, we call it a poly bag. It's like, I think it's made of mm -hmm. like a polypropylene uh, bag yeah. that's sewn and taped down. So yes, it is yeah. in the middle of summer, but every day here in New Jersey, it seems like we're always under a thunderstorm watch. <laughs> exactly. And if I had left rugs outside because I wasn't home when they were delivered to me for these exact samples, they would have been totally fine in the rain. Yeah. They'll be fine in the snow in the winter. If you're sending one as a gift to somebody ahead of the holidays, they yeah. come wrapped up fine. Just obviously when you open them, don't take out a big utility knife and just start hacking away. 
you know, no. cut it gently because you don't want to hit you don't want to hit the rug. Exactly. Uh, and then, as far as care and cleaning, Mary Beth, I know we already discussed you no, know simple let's spill talk about that or again. vacuuming and all. Yeah. The one thing that I do get questions on now uh, are are not the spills that you see right away. It's the ones that your kid kind of forgot to tell you about. Yeah. Or you know <laughs> over Thanksgiving. Or the dog forgot to tell you about or, it. <laughs> or, or, exactly. Exactly. So. If a stain does get set in, yeah. or I should say, if liquid does set in and it does look like it's going to become, uh, become a stain, obviously there are great cleaning solutions available at QVC or your DIY stores and so on. Right. But the machines themselves, I get questions about, can oh, I go yeah. to the supermarket and rent those those big machines for the carpets? Those are, they're too powerful for a hand tufted rug. Those are really meant for wall to wall right. carpeting. However, yeah. I have used um, both Auric Dissel yes. and Hoover. Yep. The they're called extraction machines, and I'm sure other brands, Shark and Dyson, if they have them, they're they're all going to work great. They all work on the same principle, which is they spray a little bit of detergent down, you let it sit for a couple of minutes, and then you essentially vacuum the liquid up, and that is a great way to refresh a rug, right? Clean a stain, uh, or just just something that you might want to do once a year or every yeah. couple of years, just to keep your rug looking as new as possible. They right. work really well. Anything that you want to do that involves a detergent or a solution, just take a little corner test first, leave it for a couple of minutes, make sure Good it doesn't point. do anything to the rug. Yeah. We can say that our rugs are liquid repellent or have no issues. If you spill something, they're not going to bleed the dye uh, underneath to the floor, but yeah. there could be some very strong detergents out well, there. Yeah. We, we don't test them. Or detergents that. that have bleach. You don't want that yes, either. Yes, exactly. This, okay, we're going to go through sizes and colors and prices because already, some of these pieces are very, very popular. Some are getting very limited. This is two feet, three inches by eight feet long. If you want to get this runner, definitely do it today. Now remember, this is not just any price. This is a today's bonus buy. That's what you're going to find on QVC too. You're not necessarily going to see this on QVC on the main channel. It's really like the today's special value for QVC too. And that's why you want to get it while you can because it's a limited amount of time at this price. So there is the runner and that runner comes out to $45 and 80 cents a month. I want to just remind you, here's the largest size, eight feet by 11 feet. It comes right to your door. This is about $200 a month with a credit card order. And we take all the major credit cards, including the QBC Q card. Um, then I'll come back to colors in a moment. Here is the five by seven. Now look at it in comparison to the fireplace because this is a basic size fireplace, okay? Um, you know, as far as width and depth and all that. That fits perfectly right there. But I also love the five by sevens in like a TV room, a reading room, a master bedroom, master bathroom, all kinds of places, sometimes an entryway that is about that size. Here is the size that a lot of people are buying and that is the six foot by nine foot size. Great for, you know, living rooms, family rooms, um, it's great if you want to put it under a table that feeds for seats. I keep saying feet because I want to say feed or seats. Let's stick with the <laughs> seats. <laughs> seats four to six people. It'll fit there. If you've got a table that seats eight to ten or more, you definitely need to go with the eight by eleven foot. But these are the wonderful colors. This is the ivory. You're not going to get a better look at the ivory than you're getting right here or right here. So that's the ivory right there. Then let's come over and remember it's easy to clean. So don't worry about that. Let's start with after the ivory, we have the sage. Let's talk to me a little bit about that sage. Well, what's interesting about sage, Mary Beth, is we had a stretch of about 10 to 12 years where sage was our number one color. Yes. Everything that we made, we had to have sage and we had to make more sage than any other color. Now that has kind of slowed down a little bit. I'm not meaning it's out of fashion or anything, but all no. of a sudden today, sage seems to be the one that everyone is going for. And I think over those years, even if it fell out of number one or number two position in our, in yeah. our color ranking, was that people liked how neutral it turned out to be. Sure. You don't think of sage as a neutral color, 
Uh, but I remember speaking to my buddies over at Northern Knights and Sheet Sets and all years yeah. ago, and they said, yeah, absolutely. These greens have become very, very casual. Mm -hmm. And they're, as you said earlier, because we have so many flowers in our beautiful Savonnerie design, green is nature's background color. It's, it's either green.